Hello, my name is Gary Stewart. I am a board certified orthopedic surgeon who is fellowship trained in foot and ankle surgery. I'm here to talk to you today about total ankle replacements and ankle arthritis in general. Arthritis in the ankle occurs from trauma, rheumatoid arthritis, or generally just regular old osteoarthritis. We generally start off with non-operative treatment consisting of bracing, injections, and anti-inflammatories. Even physical therapy to strengthen the muscles around the joint are very helpful. However, if that does not work and your pain is very debilitating, we will move on to some other options. Their other options include ankle fusion and total ankle replacement. Ankle fusion has been around for approximately 100 years and it is our gold standard of treatment in ankle arthritis. It is very successful. However, more recently, we've developed total ankle replacements. We have developed a way to identify patients that would do well with a total ankle replacement and the prosthesis, which is the metal and plastic components, have improved over the years. When we're doing a total ankle replacement, we are taking your ankle joint, which is uh, made up of three bones, your fibula, your tibia, and your talus, and we're removing the, what we would consider the articular surface and replacing it with a metal and plastic component. We're going to talk today about who's a good candidate, what to expect, and how it's done. First off, who's a good candidate? A good candidate for total ankle replacement is someone who is engaged in low impact activities, someone who is not morbidly obese, and someone who can follow the post-operative directions. You are not a good candidate if unfortunately you've had a previous infection in your ankle or you have multiple incisions around the ankle that do not allow us a good soft tissue window in which to perform the surgery. Now we're going to talk about what to expect with a total ankle replacement. First, a total ankle replacement is when the ankle joint is removed and replaced with a metal and plastic component. Now when you have your total ankle replacement, you are going to be off your feet for at least six weeks. However, after we remove your incision, we're going to allow you to do full range of motion of the ankle. At six weeks, I will then start to allow you to gradually weight bear under the care of a physical therapist. You will go to see a physical therapist approximately two to three times a week for six weeks. You will follow me in the office at three months, at which time I will take an x-ray. At that time, we'll look at your x-ray make sure that all of your components are in the proper position and then I will allow you to walk. You walk starting out in an air cast boot and then we'll gradually transition you over into a regular shoe. Once you're in a regular shoe you'll be feeling much better however you'll walk with a small limp. As you continue to work with the physical therapist your limp will slowly decrease and you'll walk in a more normal fashion. At about six months after a total ankle, you're going to be feeling pretty good, but it takes a full year to really have the soft tissues and bony structures to heal. Before we move on to our next point, I would like you to meet one of my patients, Barbara Brooks, who has had a total ankle replacement. I have broke my ankle 38 years ago. For the last 10, 15 years, the symptoms start getting worse and the arthritis was very bad. It was a grinding pain and it was swelling and it was very difficult for me to walk on. My orthopedic surgeon recommended a fusion and I did not want that. So he recommended me to Dr. Stewart um, because he does total ankle replacements. Dr. Stewart was very reassuring and told me that uh, this would be the best possible thing for my activity level. I had to be very patient but it all turned out good in the end. I mean, I had to take baby steps, and then I was able to take more liberties with myself. You know, I had a slight limp at first, and now I barely have a limp at all, and no pain, and very good flexion. I was very, very happy with the outcome. You get back to the life that you had before you uh, had all these symptoms. And I never thought that I would ever do that again. And it's very liberating. I haven't been able to dance in years, and, I, and I'm back to it, and I love it. Now we're going to talk about how a total ankle replacement is done. We make an incision in the front of your ankle, uh, down from the tibia bone down into your foot. We make sure we dissect all of the soft tissues, avoid any arteries and nerves, and expose the ankle joint. We then resect any bad bony material of that joint from the tibia, your fibula, and your talus. We then replace it with a metal and plastic component 
that you see here. You will find that we will then irrigate the area, close the incision, and then you will stay overnight in the hospital for approximately 24 hours. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very informative to you. For any additional information, you can follow us at atlantafootandanklecenter.com as well as resurgence.com. Thank you.